Hello to everyone watching. My name is Shurjo and in this video I shall be talking about the Boss Chorus Ensemble, the CE5. And uh, the way this video is going to go is I'm going to go through the functions of the pedal extremely quickly and then I'm going to just try and replicate some of the sounds that uh, chorus pedals have been used for most famously. Uh, so I'll dive right into what the signal chain is. It's pretty much the usual stuff. It's my Gibson into the Boss CE5 into my Boss Katana. And the Boss Katana is being recorded using a microphone. Uh, and that's basically it. So it's the guitar into the pedal into the amplifier. There is uh, some delay and reverb that is added from the amplifier. But no chorus is added from the amplifier. Whatever chorus effects you hear will be from the pedal. I will be switching the pedals on and off to show the difference between uh, the two sounds so that you can hear what the pedal can do and how authentic it sounds. So uh, the first thing is that what they have on the leftmost side over here, first thing is you tap it on and off. You can see the check light, the red light comes on, off, on, off. Foot switch so you know it needs to be sturdy. The leftmost, which is your E level, that's basically your effect level, is how much of uh, the chorus you want. So for example, if I were to switch it on right now, and if I were to play a simple chord, So you can hear the difference in the sound, the chorus being added on and removed. The second button from your left, uh, the second knob rather, is uh, the rate, which is basically how fast or slow the chorus works. So I'll use the full effect level so that you can hear very clearly what the difference is, so that in case you're unfamiliar with the chorus pedal, uh, you'll know what the rate does. <laughs> You can hear the rotation becoming faster. It's essentially the speed of the rotation of the chorus. Now, keeping it at a good rate, I'm going to go on to the next, which is the depth, the next knob, the depth knob. basically how deep your wave is going to be the amplitude of the wave amplitude of the wave rather and the last thing that they have is like an EQ for the chorus See it has, as you can see, it has two parts. One is the bass part, which is the lower uh, lower knob, and the upper knob, that's the treble knob. When you are on the extreme left side, as the bass is close to the extreme left side, that's the cut side. Basically, it's cutting the bass of the chorus. And if you're on the right side, that's basically flat as a no cut. All right. So what that would sound like is something like this. We're keeping everything really high so that you can hear the blatant obvious difference.
reducing the highs you can see the the highs of the co the highs of the chorus are gone now you can hear you can hear that the lows of the chorus are gone the lows are gone so basically that's it so the more you turn the cut knob the treble or the bass to the left the more it cuts and the more you keep it to the right the lesser it cuts and when you have it in the extreme right most most position it's basically flat and they've kept all of the chorus in no eq has been removed why that would be necessary obviously is because you know there are many times where you might be eating into other people's frequencies with the certain effects that you put in so uh, you know if there's enough bass sound on stage or, or in your recording maybe you don't need the chorus to be in the bass level maybe you need to be in the treble level so you cut it on the bass things like that uh and now uh what we're going to do is we're going to first of all think of why people need a chorus i think most of the time basically it's to beef up your sound a little bit you can beef up your sound a little bit with the chorus pedal you know and uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically try and play some riffs and um, there are going to be different amp settings so on and so forth but i think you should take a look at the chorus setting basically and see uh what it sounds like there and we're going to try and get some of the more famous uh songs in there which have used chorus or which could use chorus just to give you an idea for what could happen
So there you have it. That's essentially what the Boss Chorus Ensemble CE5 can do. What it does is essentially it thickens up the tone. And uh, over the years, it has uh, the chorus has been used in many, many creative ways by many, many artists. Uh, for people like me who have a, who are partial to 80s rock and so on and so forth, they obviously will find a lot where the chorus was used because the, the guitar players were really going overboard using you know, they were drenching their sounds with chorus, whether they be the clean sounds or the distorted sounds, whether they be the solos, rhythm sections, riffs. The Boss CE5 does a really good job of recreating that vibe and that ambience, and uh, maybe you don't need to use it as heavily drenched as I used it for this video. This is just for the purpose of a demonstration. Uh, but uh, you can use it to thicken up your riffs and so on and so forth, just give them a little extra edge, a little extra beef, a little different tonality. All the whilst having like a different, uh, like almost a compressed, controlled, but unique vibe to it. And uh, that's what it does. And I hope this uh, demo helps you and that you go out and use your chorus in different ways and come up with cool sounds. Till next time, take care. <laughs>